Well, Dame Elizabeth has been a most wonderful friend and supporter to me. And I was the founding director of the Victorian Tapestry Workshop, which began in 1976. And Dame Elizabeth Murdoch was, of course, the driving force behind the establishment of the workshop. I, I first met Dame Elizabeth at the Tapestry Workshop. She enjoys um, a sense of humour. She enjoys a joke. She enjoys being teased. We get on well like that. Well, when Andrew Sayers approached us with the idea of, we of weaving a portrait of Dame Elizabeth, I thought it was enormously exciting. Chris Pye had seemed a very suitable person to um, be involved in this project. He spent time with her in the garden. We took a series of photographs totalling about 55, 60. The first series were of her wearing blue. A lot of her character is expressed in her clothing. And that blue, she always wears for a formal occasion. I got her to change that because it never really did a... You know, none of them look comfortable, do they? But when we got her into a pattern dress, it fitted much better. Well, Dame Elizabeth is one of those exceptional people who have imagination and vision, huge human warmth, and then the capacity to follow that up, not only financially, but also with their own personal encouragement. When I look at the portrait and look at her eyes, I, you know, I can just hear her saying to herself, what on earth do they want a portrait of me for? Her warmth, her enthusiasm, her, her great joy and delight in everything we did has just been one of the greatest things in my whole professional life. Her con contribution to uh, um, the life of Australia has been absolutely immense. So I think there should be a tapestry portrait of her all over Australia. <laughs>